A month ago, a driver was turning left through a crosswalk and hit and killed our daughter, Allie. Allie was behaving exactly the way you would want your own three-year-old to while crossing the street. In the crosswalk, with the green light, hand in hand with grandma. This driver, instead of yielding to a toddler and her grandma, made a conscious decision to muscle his way through the crosswalk in his SUV. This action changed our lives and killed our beloved daughter. When drivers pass so close to people in the crosswalk, they are risking pedestrians' pedestrians' lives. In this case, our daughter was killed. There should be serious consequences. The police know the driver was in the wrong. They issued him two traffic tickets. Failure to yield and failure to use due care. Ali paid the death penalty for crossing the street. Okay, this is for you, Ali. It's unbelievable that the driver, the driver's penalty is two tickets, and our daughter is gone. I'm never gonna see her blow out another candle. And we're never going to see her start kindergarten. So, our message to all drivers is simple. Please, before you get behind the wheel and realize the machine you're about to operate can kill people. We may, have, uh, we may drive every day, but we need to be conscious of the enormous responsibility we have when we get behind the wheel, we urge drivers to pay attention to the road and to slow down, yield to pedestrians. They have the right of way and it's the right thing to do. Your vehicles weigh one ton of steel. The average human body weighs a fraction of the vehicle. It's made up of <coughs> fragile flesh and bones. New Yorkers are always in a hurry but we challenge drivers to pause and ask, is it worth it? Is it worth running over a child because you're running late? Is it worth picking up the phone when it could mean a family must pick out a grave for their child? Is it worth texting a friend when that message could force a fair father to text the date and time of their child's funeral? Is it worth looking at the phone when it caused a mother to look at their daughter in the ER's office, doctors, to try to resuscitate her daughter? We ask you to pause because if, if the driver who, who killed our happy daughter on that fateful day had paused, Perhaps I would not have to stand before today. Where did he need to go in such a hurry that couldn't stop for a few seconds and let an elderly lady and her granddaughter cross the street? We challenge drivers to pause and ask, is it worth it? Because the next person killed by a reckless driver may be someone you love. Thank you.